like I mentioned CCIP, are you guys an Oracle 2 or is that a separate function from what you guys provide? So CCIP, the way I would think about this is like Chainlink kind of has two core businesses or maybe they would say three, I'm not speaking for them. Um, but CCIP is their product that competes kind of within the asset layer that Wormhole is dominant in. They have an Oracle product that provides price feeds to DeFi protocols that you know they're they're largely known for. CCIP is a product they came out with after that isn't you know this at the same like I would just say same adoption as their Oracle feeds. But the interesting thing about Wormhole and a lot of people don't know this is like asset transfer we're leading on, but a whole other part of our business is actually powering Oracles. So oh, wow. Pith, if folks in the audience are familiar, or Redstone, these are probably within top four of the most successful oracles. Obviously, Chainlink's got a, a strong spot at the top of Pith and Redstone. Are, so all of Pith's infrastructure is powered by Wormhole. So they actually, the way Pith works is they fork Solana. They have institutions. So think about like a, a Jane Street or something. Their whole business is based off having really, really good price data so they can trade against it and fast. So what they do is they broadcast that data to the Pith, PithNet, which is the fork of Solana. We pick it up and we send it with Wormhole to all these different chains. And so this is happening tens of thousands of price feed updates per day. And then we have the same, one of our customers again is, is uh, Redstone. So they're, they don't, they're not whole infrastructures empowered by Wormhole, but a portion of it is, his whole infrastructure is. So I guess what the main, one of the differences is like we power Oracle price feeds. We don't have an Oracle price feed product ourselves, but we are really strong and known for kind of our asset transfer, which I think is kind of the main thing that most people will, use or interact with anyway. No, that makes a lot of sense. You, you partner with these other oracles that want to move the data packets and provide that pricing data inside of these financial products. And you guys route that to the counterparty to make sure it gets used in the smart contract the way it's supposed to. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. 